All right, let's load this bad boy up. Oh shit, I forgot it was on. <laughs> and she's off. Suspension is way too stiff for this kind of stuff. Now I have way too much air in my tires. First trash. Good one. Oh, not too bad. Pretty slow. I was going to wipe my goggles. Dude, now she's officially broken in. Yeah, I guess, huh? Dude, it feels not that great. It's so stiff, and my I think I have like 30 pounds in my tires, dude. Put her down. <laughs> uh, I just I hit a rock. Tuck the front. Huh? The roost that comes off this I is know. insane. Is it? It's gnarly. It literally, like the wheel starts spinning so fast, so quick. <laughs> I'm running at 40 horsepower with no engine braking. See how this feels. Still got that two stroke mill in front of me. It's 
weird like the battery percentage like varies so much it goes like between like 10 percent at all times really yeah it's weird like and i feel i feel like i've used more battery than i should have by now i'm at 61 it's showing all right let me try that thing hitting this little hill climb oh uh, no i'm just gonna go right here so ride it in four that's like more power How's that break? This thing is insane. You gotta try this. Is it just so snappy? <laughs> it feels kind of weird, huh? Yeah, I mean, you just gotta get used to it. I fucking went for the rear brake. Mm -hmm. Down here, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. seeing something come up without a motor on it <laughs> how did that feel felt good the second one because i like had the straight line you know yeah well you're coming up the gnarly shit there and it was just going man. dude all you can hear is like the tires on yeah the, dirt. the rocks that's crazy i know it's so loud on the rocks yeah this trail looks sick we'll be all damn special <laughs> Goat trail. Was really good on the technical climbing to that. God, that tire sounds crazy. That trail's sick, man. That thing is kind of gnarly. Dude, it used to come up this. So he's saying.
Yeah. Hope I don't stall it. Dude, this rock is ice. I can't even stand on this thing, dude. Nice little gouge. I tipped her over at the bottom right on that rock. And just, I couldn't, I couldn't pick it up because I couldn't stand on the rock because it's all slick. <laughs> Jack is sick. Dude, that, that turn track is awesome. Yeah. It's Truck. Battery showing five percent. Six percent. Six percent. That's what it says. First ride on this thing's done. Dropped it on some rocks. Put a couple good little gouges in my plastics. But hey, needed to get it dirty. All right, so the first ride on the Stark Varg is done and dusted. I got some mud on the tires, a couple scratches, dropped it on a rock. It was pretty fun. Definitely is impressive. Um, not a whole lot of complaints. Um, we rode, we left the parking lot probably at 9.45, rode till about noon. So let's just say two hours of riding. I got back to the truck with like eight to 7% battery left. So I rode the bike mostly in 40 horsepower um, just because that's what felt the best to me. Honestly, I don't know if even on tracks I'd be riding that thing at much more above 50 horsepower. 40 felt like you know, when you're on trails, even on fast trails, you'll hold it wide open for a second, let's just say in third gear on a 450 to make it relatable for people. You know, you hold it wide open in third gear for a couple seconds and you let off, and basically 40 horsepower is gonna give you that same feeling. It felt plenty fast to me. I messed with um, the regenerative braking a little bit, and uh, at first I thought I would like no engine braking, which it did feel good, but I honestly, on the rocky trails where your bike's kind of like, you know, kind of moving around a lot, I uh, I liked the feeling 
with like 50% regenerative braking. It felt, made the bike feel a little more stable. And honestly, yeah, just shaking this thing down, still really trying to get used to it. We did about 22 miles back to the truck with 7%. So we had about two hours of ride time. And then um, in the app, it shows you exactly how much time the bike was riding. And it was an hour and 36 minutes of actual riding time. I feel like that's pretty good. You know, you'd always want more, more battery range. Got a couple hours of riding in, got to shake this thing down, break it in. That kind of gives you an idea of the range. The riding was definitely faster desert riding. So, you know, I'm in the power more than you would on typical trails, I would say. It will do probably between 20 to 30 miles on trails, depending on what type of trails you're riding. So definitely not set up super well for tra trail riding or enduro. Suspension was way too stiff. I probably had way too much air in my tires. Um, so I think if I really just went all the way soft on my clickers, made it probably a lot better, a lot more plush, but it's also a brand new bike first ride. So things are gonna be stiff in general until it breaks in after, you know, five to 10 hours. I'd say overall, I had a really good time riding the bike today. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode.